Oh, oh man. Y'all. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is honestly crazy. Now, look, I seen this video, right? Now, this right here is actually the conservative twins uh opinion on the video you feel me I, I wonder is it bad that i said okay i'm gonna start watching like black conservative because you know me and him about me and him literally got the same perspective no you know no pun intended you feel me you know black conservative perspective anyways that's, that's the point okay that was a corny joke but it's crazy i said i would start watching him because it's just like we have the same perspectives and it's like y'all not really getting the whole gist of it it's like y'all just hearing his opinion then y'all hearing the same thing i gotta say because he said you feel me and i don't want to i don't want to be like that but I tend to go ahead and watch Conservative Twins. I don't know if that's bad or not. Y'all can let me know in the comment section below. But uh, anyways, we back at it again with another video. You feel me? So this right here, I seen the little New York, uh, New York City. I seen like a snippet of it. Okay, so I know this is what they're talking about. Because I seen a snippet of it and I couldn't find the original clip. All right, I couldn't find the original video because the original video is 50 minutes and I just could not find a part where he was talking about low skilled workers. Okay, so finna go ahead and get into the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, finna see what they thoughts are about this video. You feel me? Before I even watch the video, I already know what I'm gonna say. Okay, so I'm not saying the same thing they said. Okay, so we had the same thing. It is what it is. I have not seen their video yet. You feel me? So without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, let's go, man. And uh, I did people brain did them. <laughs> like, they actually vote for Tom Foolery in that state. Yeah, it's like every time you hear a Democrat uh, talk, it's like they come off like an elitist. Yeah, they come off like a That's jerk. facts. But yeah. their minions are so stupid they don't realize it. All right, so show them the. Just check it out. <sighs> Man, these people are idiots. What the hell is he wearing? February, March, April. Four months? Um, yeah, it's crazy. I said the same thing when I first seen you. I'm like, bro, what the, bro, what the hell is this? Vaccine and testing? You actually bought that? I, I hope you got that for free. I just hope you did. Not having <laughs> this business patronized, not having a restaurant patronized, not having business travelers come here to the city to Take go your to mask off. hotels. That is going to be devastating for our economy. No and shit. I don't know <laughs> if my businesses... Take your mask off, fool. <laughs> ...with their employees. You are part of the ecosystem of this city. My low-skilled workers, my cooks, my dishwashers, my messengers, my shoeshine people, <laughs> those who work in Dunkin' Donuts, they, cannot, they don't have the academic Dunkin Donuts. sit in a corner office. They Bro. need this. Wow. We're in this together. Look, first off, first off, let me let me say this. When he when he mentioned, first of all, when he mentioned uh, before they even talk, I need to say what I got to say. When he mentioned Dunkin' Donuts, bro, I literally bust out crying. Like it, it wasn't the fact that it's just like, bro, dang, out of all things you mentioned, shoe shiners and Dunkin' Donuts, damn, bro, nigga still shoe shining. That's what I said. Like people still shoe shining. I have not seen a shoe shiner in a minute, bro. Now I know if you talking about the people that be in the mall, they be like, "Hey yo, hey yo, come here, come here real quick. Let me, I got the shoe clean." And they start start cleaning your shoes, bro. They they and then you know one thing I hate about the shoe people that be at the malls, bro. This is what they do. This is literally what they do. The y'all can agree with me. They literally be at the mall, right? They would clean off your shoe, bro. They would clean off one shoe and leave, they leave you with one clean shoe and one dirty shoe, just so you could buy the other product, just so you could buy the product for the other shoe. They so Vanessa walking around with one clean Jordan, the other one just beat up, bro. I could, I I can't. But um, dog, he said low skilled workers. I I I see me by me. Uh, what used to work. At like a restaurant, fast food, you know, I used to work at Burger King and you feel me? I used, I used to do that. Okay. So by me working at Burger King, I could tell you like this, it's nothing low skilled about any worker that works at Burger King, factories, even shoe shining people. Every job has a skill set. Every job takes skill because not everybody can do that specific job. When you work at fast food, you might think it's easy. You might think it's just, oh, got to take an order. Got to get it out. No. Okay. When you work at fast food, duck and donuts, you know how long they line be? Lay line be out the driveway, bro. You got to deal with rude customers. You got to deal with customers coming back in because you probably messed up their order. You got to deal with customers that just didn't wake up on the right side of the bed this morning. So it's like, that's not a low skill job. You have to have a lot of patience. You got to have a lot of, you got to learn, you got to know how to talk to people because if you don't, you know what I'm saying? That could cost you your job. Also, not only cost your job, it could cost you to fight. It could cost you so many different things. And customers ain't, customers ain't just customers, they people. 
You feel me? It could be some crazy people in this world, and they could come through the drive through on the bad on the bad side of the day. You know what I'm saying? And then you do something to irritate them, and they just pull out a gun. That's how crazy this world is. They could just pull out a gun and pop, 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 and shoot you. You feel me? So what you mean low skill? You realize that your job, your job is pretty much low skill. We a lot of people believe that mayors and all mayors, presidents, um, what else? We can even say managers. Everybody that's a regular employee, you know, working for those people or those is or those is they bosses. You know what I'm saying? If I have a manager, he's my boss. Sometimes I be thinking that the managers don't do nothing. You feel I think they just walk around. You know what I'm saying? But I learned as I became up in Amazon and became a PG, which is a process guy. I learned that it's more to the set. Learn. I learned that it's more skills to the position. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people may think that show that a mayor position is low skill, but it's actually a skill set to that. Every job in this world has a skill set. Ain't nothing low skilled about this. This jobs ain't nothing low skilled about these jobs. Shoe shining people. I could barely clean half of my shoes, bro. They be having your shoes, you boy, you can see your reflection. Yeah, they might just be scrubbing a shoe, but it's a way they do it where you can see your reflection through it. Not everybody could do that. You know what I'm saying? You can put you can do anything you put your mind to, but not everybody can really not everybody have that set skill to, you know, go crazy. And one thing again, God gave everybody a gift. Everybody has a different gift. So for you to say shoe shining people, low skill, this they have a gift, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real. Sometimes we be thinking that low skill people work in the office because it's like we out busting our butts, you know what I'm saying, going crazy, standing up for 10 hours. Imagine working at Amazon or any factory standing up for 10 plus hours on your feet when you got people in the office that sitting down at the office chair like I am right now and they just doing work on the computer. It's a skill set, right? I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking facts, bro. Y'all can let me know if I'm wrong or not. Why can't you just say workers? Why you got to label people as low skill? Exactly. You do, exactly. You could just say workers. You you label people as low skill for what, bro? Having these Dunkin' Donuts and shoe shining people feeling bad about themselves. Workers. <laughs> Majority of jobs are low skill. Like what we do. This is low skill. Just turn the camera on and, and start, just start talking. talking. Your job, low skill. But at the end of the day, YouTube and all that is not low. It, like me, th I'm thinking about low skill in a span of you don't have no skill to do this. Turn on the camera and recording like I'm doing. This is what I want to do with my life, okay? But this ain't low skill because I still have to deal with the negativity that comes with this lifestyle. I still have to deal with my mental health that comes with this lifestyle. It's still so much. I still have to deal with even trying to, trying to stay relevant that comes with this lifestyle. Because once you don't go, once you go off YouTube for about three months and you barely have a flaw in base because it's a difference between subscribers and supporters when you don't have a, when you have a low support system on youtube and you go off youtube for three months oh yeah it's time to get back in the algorithm you gotta work even harder than you did before you know what i'm saying i'm just speaking facts yeah. you know how you got your job being black <laughs> it don't get no lower than that <laughs> Absolutely no job skills needed. Majority of jobs are actually low skill. Like everybody can't work at NASA as an engineer. Everybody can't be Elon Musk. The hell right. are you talking? Hey, he even brought up shoe shiners. People still doing that shit? <laughs> bro. I said, bro, I'm saying the same thing. I didn't know people still do shoe shining. Like I said, unless he was talking about people that be in the mall cleaning your shoe. I call them shoe cleaners. <laughs> I think a Who the hell <laughs> got a damn job on a black shine shoe? <laughs> I think a damn shoe shine is more skilled than you. <laughs> it, you know how much detail and work and, and that's a science when you when you shine the shoes. It don't take no man. Like I used to spit shine my boots when I was in the military, but I would never paint them. <laughs> that's like the mean hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how much you shine the shoes? I mean, if you, I ain't giving you no dollar. I give you 50 cents. <laughs> that was too much shine my shoe. I could do that. <laughs> A dollar? This is crazy. Hey, you know, that's another thing I learned. That's another thing I learned since I've been like, you know, since I haven't been on this earth for that long, but I got a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. Another thing that I learned is that anything that somebody could do, you can also do if you just put your mind to it. You know, we all can cut our own hair. Every fella out there, every dude out there, we can all cut our own hair. You know why we don't do it? Because we're scared. Okay? It's fear. It's fear. 
But at the same time, even barbers ain't low skill. You know how steady, you know how steady of a hand you have to have to be a barber, bro? You you can't be in there like shaking a hand. Like you can't, you have to have a steady hand to be a barber. You see this lining? My barber has a steady hand, a perfect steady hand, bro. Like, I'm just saying. Like, no job is low skill to me. No job at all. But if you think that, then hey, you should go ahead and try to stop it. You should go ahead and not be a mayor and just work at a fast food restaurant for about a month. Work at a factory for about a month, if you haven't already. But if you have and you say that's low skill, then you're crazy. <laughs> hey, everybody's low skill unless you're a doctor or yeah, you are an engineer for NASA or you. Yeah, I mean, ninety nine point nine percent of all jobs are, are fact, low skill. Yeah, I mean, do you make sense that? Shutting down the, you know, your your city again yeah. would ruin the economy. But that goes without saying. I'm I'm glad you at least saying that. Yeah, but the way you label people like like you better than <laughs> <laughs> my low skill workers must shoe shines. I guess that's a lot. And, that, and that's another thing, bro. People people need to be humble. Stop label like you label them as if you were better than them. You ain't no better than them. You human too. You know what I'm saying? You can lose that mayor position or whatever that works. I don't know because I'm not a mayor. But if anything, you could be the same thing that other low skilled workers are. A lot of shoe shiners in New York. I wouldn't blame them, man. They ain't got no jobs there. <laughs> Anybody? Ain't nobody behind. I know what I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a chair. I'm gonna put a couple chairs on the sidewalk. I'm gonna go over there and buy a couple of these damn shoe polishes. I'm gonna start shining shoes. Put that damn little towel on your shoulder. Hey, sir, where you going? Did you shoe shine? God, I'm wearing George. Who the hell need that shoe shine? Hey, I, if I had, if my if I was wearing those shoes, I'm not asking nobody to shine my shoes. You come off like you're like you're lazy. Most shine shit. your own damn shoes. That's like paying somebody to hold your. Man, you took uh -huh. it too far with that. Paying somebody to shine your shoes. That's kind of the great name. I mean, people that do that kind of work, they got low ambition, of course. <laughs> what do you do for them? I shine shoes. I've been doing it for forty years. That's how they actually and keep and that I, shit. And I'm a damn good shoe shine. <laughs> I'd be like, you should keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> I mean, if you were seeking credit and I was approving your credit application, shoe shine, you ain't getting gold credit from me. But <laughs> 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 you do the same thing that May was doing. You're talking down to people think you better than him. I was joking, okay. though. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you just came off like a jerk, like you better than everybody, like you, <laughs> like you a doctor, you a scientist, you ain't no, you a, you just another fool as the mayor. <laughs> yeah, you ain't you nobody special. Job. You up there talking to everybody wearing a stupid ass mask. <laughs> Did you see what was? On? No, no, wearing a stupid shirt, bro. The sweater, bro. Vax, vaccine and testing with uh, like kindergarten mate. On his top, what he was wearing? He was, Look, he was like, vaccine and testing. <laughs> Man, you stupid as hell. I mean, okay, there's a testing shortage, right? What is testing going to do? Hey, you got COVID. <laughs> Bro, what are going to tell you? Like, when I got tested positive for COVID, I thought, oh my God, I got COVID. I, doctor, what am I going to do? He said, take your ass home. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you not, I mean, I took a test. What are you going to do? We we need to know what I got. I got it. So what are we going to do? Take your ass to the house. Yep. Quarantine. Thank you, some Aubrey problem for them damn headaches, because I heard they are killing people. Yeah, make sure you take plenty of water, too. Drink plenty of water that and steal. Was... All right, so so I see their point of views, okay? I see their point of views. Now, they was being pretty much sarcastic. I will hope they was being sarcastic, but I'm pretty sure because he said he was just playing. So I know they was just being sarcastic. And uh, if you don't know the conservative twins, they play a lot, you feel me? That's why I like them. They funny, they play a lot, but they, you know, they, they get serious sometimes. But most of the time, it's all jokes, you feel me? So I know they was just being uh, sarcastic. But with that mayor, bro, just just another dumb fool as a mayor. I mean, look at Chicago mayor, but I can't stand Uncle Larry, Uncle Life, or whatever her name is. I don't even know her name, bro. I can't stand her. She, uh, she gets on my nerves. But, uh, um, I mean, hey, it is what it is. You feel me? I just feel like, you know, you can't label people. Never label nobody as low skill workers. Like it, it's literally, it's literally a skill to it, each and everything you do on earth, each and everything. Cause I believe that God gave everybody a gift and you should use that gift and go into that gift and go crazy with that gift. No matter what it is, it could be shoe shining. It could be freaking 
painting walls for a living. It go crazy with that. Get. Actually, people that paint walls, boy, that they get some money. They get some bread. You know what I'm saying? They get they get that dope, 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 dope. You will. It can be anything, bro. Anything you can you can do anything for a living. You know what I'm saying? Anything. I mean, you can make money out of everything. Whatever you love to do. What I learned and what my study told me is what my study said. What uh whatever you love to do on like whatever you love to do, just learn how to make money at it. That's simple. Just learn how to make money at whatever you love to do. You can like, you can like, look, I mean, no, no offense to any porn stars. I'm not with this, but you can really like, you know, just doing the nasty and look how many people making money from that. They got only fans now where you can make money off that. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's ways around this. I don't recommend nobody doing that. You know, I, I recommend y'all wait to marriage and just do it the right way. And have that, that one person, you know, cause y'all want to have like 30 different bodies and then got all these different diseases. Like you don't want that. Okay. But anyways, man, uh, shout out to the conservative twins, man. My whole thought, I gave my thoughts in the beginning. Really. I was just trying to listen to their point of view and they was just being sarcastic, but I love them. You know what I'm saying? I love conservative twins, man. Shout out to conservative twins once again. And that mayor, bro. Oh, geez. Lord. <laughs> get him the strength boy i know he's going to get straight bash for this okay uh anyways hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications follow your boy on all social media platforms down below it's been your boy the pen out every like every every e bro oh my gosh get it out i love each and every one of y'all man god bless stay blessed peace